So let's begin with a simple definition. The word innovation comes from the Latin in and novare, which means to make something new, to create something new, to make change. Hmm, that's not really getting us very far. So how about this instead for a simple working definition? Innovation is about creating value from ideas. Now, the value could be commercial value, making a lot of money out of a brilliant idea like a smartphone, but it could also be social innovation, changing the world into a better place through applying good ideas to make something better. So let's look at a few examples. Take the motor car. Now, the motor car wasn't invented by Henry Ford. He and many others worked a long time during the early part of the 20th century, the late part of the 19th century, to create something which revolutionized the way we move around. Essentially, the ideas around the internal combustion engine and the various other components helped us move from horses as a form of transportation to cars and opened up all sorts of social and technical and commercial possibilities. Or take pharmaceuticals. Many of us are alive today when otherwise we might have died of many different diseases, not by luck, but because we have an industry, the pharmaceutical industry, which spends a great deal of money doing research, coming up with ideas, and creating value from those ideas. Life-saving drugs of all shapes and sizes have changed the world. Or take the printing press. Way back in the 15th century, Johannes Gutenberg came up with the idea of movable type in a press and through that developed the innovation, the printing press. Again, something which changed the world, particularly how we communicate. And actually, if you think about that one, that's a great example which shows social and commercial value. There's a whole industry, the printing and publishing industry, which has grown on the back of those innovations. But at the same time, it's an innovation which has changed the world in terms of how we communicate with each other. One of the tragedies in the developing, and indeed much of the world now, is the shortage still of clean drinking water. And a good example of a social innovation a simple product, a drinking straw, which would allow anybody to drink water which is itself polluted and dangerous, and basically drink that water and have the experience of drinking clean, purified water. A product called Life Straw. Another example of ideas, ideas about technology, about chemistry, about filtration, but ideas which are deployed to create, in this case, social value. Now, one of the things we have to recognize about innovation is that it's not like the cartoons. You know, in the cartoons, that magic moment when, bing, the light bulb flashes above someone's head. There we are, innovation. Except that it's not. That's an idea. But there's a lot more that has to happen before that idea can create value. It's a journey from idea to value. Now, the good news is we know a lot about this. We have probably about a hundred years of research, a hundred years of hard-won experience to help us make that journey. We're not alone. Many people have done it before us. So that's the good news about innovation and how we might manage it. Success in innovation isn't an accident. It comes from learning the skills, understanding what goes on in the journey, and deploying those skills to help create value from ideas. So one of the questions we might ask ourselves is, who is going to make this journey? Well, the answer is simple. It's the entrepreneur. Who? Entrepreneur. It's a strange word. It's a French word originally. But what it really means is somebody who undertakes something, specifically the one who undertakes the journey, who makes innovation happen. And it's an important concept because innovation, as we've said, doesn't just happen, it's driven by people. Now, 50 years ago, one of the great management writers, Peter Drucker, put this very clearly. Basically, he said, innovation is what entrepreneurs do. So if we think about it, innovation is essentially something driven by entrepreneurs as agents of change. 
And another context in which entrepreneurs can act is in the field of social innovation, trying to create social value through ideas. A couple of examples. Dr. Venkataswamy is an interesting man. He basically didn't even begin his entrepreneurial career until he retired from his normal job, which was an eye surgeon in India. His job was to treat cataracts. Cataracts essentially a problem which blocks the vision in an eye. If you have two cataracts and you don't treat it, you go blind. He knew how to do the operation. His challenge, his passionate mission was to bring that care to people in the poor villages of his home state of Tamil Nadu. And basically those people couldn't afford the operations in the big hospitals and so went blind. How could he innovate, come up with ideas that would create the social value that would enable those people to see? It's a wonderful story around 12 million people today can see who would otherwise have gone blind. Or in the same space, Martin Aufmuth basically came up with the idea that since around 150 million people in the world will need glasses and not all of them can afford to go to an expensive optician, can he come up with a concept? And his concept? The one dollar pair of glasses. Again, a wonderful story of innovation, but in this case, entrepreneurs driving through change that creates social value. So in fact, there are many different ways in which entrepreneurs can act. Whether it's in the startup, growing a new venture, whether it's inside an established organization, helping contribute ideas which create further business value, or in the field of social innovation, making the world a better place. In fact, if you think about it, we're all potentially entrepreneurs, agents of change making some or other kind of change happen which makes it really important to understand the key skills required to make that innovation journey and make it again and again. And that is what this course is about. So let's summarize where we've been in this film. Innovation is creating value from ideas. Entrepreneurs are the agents of change. They operate in many different contexts. We are all potentially entrepreneurs. Now, let's pause for a moment and think about all of that.